I was somewhere in Ponte Vedra, heading toward a roundabout, when the Red Bull started to kick in. Somewhere my lawyer was wrapped up in a conference call with some anonymous client and would not share information with me. Somehow I was supposed to find him in this county of short shorts wearing perfectly combed receding hairlines. No phone, no fax. It was only a matter of time before I would find him sticking out like a sore thumb. After all, how big could Ponte Vedra really be? I felt a bit disoriented, and like driving more, and then all of a sudden the sky was full of these retina-piercing beams of sunlight, swooping down like lasers, and a voice inside was screaming, Holy Jesus, where are my goddamn sunglasses? Never mind. After taking a quick inventory in my head of what I had to assist my search, and how foobard my attempts would probably be, I started thinking, God, man, this is the longest roundabout I've ever been on. Suddenly to my realization, it became apparent I was just doing laps around the busy shopping center, generally confusing any bystanders, but getting great gas mileage. I had three cases of Red Bull, a gallon drum of whey protein, 10 capsules of Zip Fizz, numerous supplements, powders, pills, and syrups and not one intention of using them responsibly. I had to be on full alert, looking for this bastard with no rhyme or reason as to where to even start. Taking to the main roads, I'd remember Ponte Vedra was a modern day mecca for golfing. In my experience, golf meant alcohol, and I required strong drink. The Red Bull would be wearing off soon, and I knew I had the absent. It would only be a matter of time before I got into that horrible stuff. Upon finding a bar with a strong scent of wealthy adulterous women, chance has me approaching my lawyer falls deep in a Jack Daniels and Coca-Cola. Of course, not a single female within 20 feet of him. I didn't even have time to lecture him on his sheer luck that I'd found him before he blurted out. Relax, man. Change of plans. I'm gonna keep drinking, and you're gonna take us to the airport tomorrow. It wouldn't be long before my lawyer had me convinced. We would be taking a week-long retreat in the depths of hell we know as New Orleans, searching for the American dream. The ticket was on someone else's tab, so I was naturally along for the ride. You've become a caricature of your former self. Would you like a beer? Would you like a beer? yourself a whiskey is completely pure. I just did that. I destroyed the feather, but I did that. Buy the ticket. Take the ride. Did you just move the lines off the table? So, uh, this client, the bartender, I assume, you know, leading people on wild goose chases only to drunkenly run into them at some local bar is very bad for one's karma. Well, I saw the last name on a tab about an hour ago and I started ordering drinks on him. Poor bastard. Why don't you order yourself a beer here? I hear They're on Dorsey. How much for the goat? How much for the ace? Don't worry, he's just admiring the shape of your skull.
You know, like, where does a lot of this shit come from? Alcoholic abuse. Get in.